Welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Network, the number one online radio network in the world. 100% American Badass. Sponsored by Madison Rising. King's Hollow. Redcon One Music Group. The Veteran Exchange. Combat Flip Flops. Branded Warriors Inc. Let's get dangerous. Coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the Dangerous Grounds Network presents the number one morning show in America. It's the three percent of morning show with your host, Sergeant Big Country. Now put on that PT belt, wash your cocks and change your socks, and get ready to stroke this freedom boner. Let's get dangerous. Bitch, I operate We might be crazy We might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey And now here we come And we're riding dirty This must be fake Three words for your face Bitch, I operate
Hey, yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> it's a 3% or morning show with some Monday madness. Congratulations, Ron. You know, we can we can be good sports. Duke won. I know. Go ahead. Let's uh, let's get to Duke in the NC uh basketball game and all that shit. Uh <laughs> go ahead and get it out while you can. <laughs> but uh yeah, good game though, man. Good game. Man, we're still tied. We're still tired with the all time, you know, winnings of the games and shit like that. So, you know. But anyway, hope everybody's uh having a good Monday morning. Uh twelve days away from St. Patrick's Day, which uh should be a blowout just about everywhere in the world. I know it is here in town, that's for sure. Yeah, I I celebrated my birthday in shit eight years. But uh, I think we I think we will this year, <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. So, uh, all right, all right. Um, so I guess we'll uh, we'll start off with uh, a little bit of a little bit of news first. Uh, of course, everybody else is in bed and all that good stuff. So, um, I don't know if anybody watches the, the Animal Kingdom or Animal Planet or stuff like that, but everybody knows uh, there are a couple of lions that you know these. These people have been following around for years, um, and their name is Simba and uh, uh, Saweed. And apparently, um, they actually found them because they do have trackers and stuff in them. And it's good to see that you know there are still people out there that, that care enough about the animals that they were uh, they were rescued from the war in Iraq and Syria and brought safely to. Uh, South Africa. Now I haven't played this, but it was some of the things that I was reading. So uh this is a good way to start off to to see to see a couple of beautiful animals rescued. Let's see what they got to say. And they're not gonna say anything. They're just <laughs> pretty much gonna say uh, t- torn from the war on Iraq, which which is great, which is really great, because you know when they put these tracking systems in uh, in these animals and stuff, it, it, it's pretty badass to be able to. Uh, What's well, St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> St. Patrick's Day is on the seventeenth of March, there, brother. <laughs> Twelve days away, but uh, I mean it's it's been pretty cool to to watch these cubs go from babies and to adulthood. Um, you know, it, it's it's nature, man. You, you don't really get to see nature unless you know you get up with uh, get up with that side of things, if you know what I mean. So uh, that was uh, that was pretty pretty chilling at the least. But um, so uh, something that I did see that was awfully weird. Unless you're in Antarctica or uh, you know up north on the other one. You don't see the ocean being froze. Well, apparently, the temperatures dropped so freaking much that uh, <laughs> Great Britain is a possibility of the sea right there around Great Britain freezing over. There goes Mother Nature. <laughs> there goes Mother Nature. Uh, what, what, what's up, man? Did you, what you didn't know about St. Patrick's Day? What you didn't know, besides the date. So, yes, you know, y'all want to go to a good St. Patrick's Day party? Go to Savannah, Georgia. They literally dye the entire river green. They use food coloring. It's not toxic, toxic, but they actually take shit tons of 55-gallon drums and they dump it in the river, (laughs) and the river's green for days. But oh man, they 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 have some of the best freaking parties out there for St. Patrick's Day, man. It's 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 badass, uh, badass. So, uh, well, we got some uh, we got some updates on uh, Iggy Six Two. Um, keeps rolling around, man. Keeps rolling around. Um, hopefully, uh, <laughs> that was even close to it. Um, Hopefully we'll have the flyer done here in the next couple of days. Uh, we got a great artist that's uh, that's getting it done, and uh, we got the sponsorship packets done. 
So we'll be emailing those out to a crap load of people. And I have to say, you know, even though the NFL pulled their stuff this year, I, I, I lucked up getting my old changed. Uh, what was it? Saturday. I was at Pep Boys getting my old changed. And if you know who Jim Nance is, he's one of the commentators for the NFL. Well, everybody knows that, you know, we have one of the big golf tournaments here. And keep your fingers crossed. But the man that I was talking to was a Navy veteran. And we were just talking about random stuff. And just comes to find out that he is first cousins with Jim Nance. And Mr. Tom Brady and Tony Romo will be at this golf tournament. And, uh... He's already got me the ticket, and we are hoping, and fingers crossed, that what we bring to these three gentlemen sparks a little fire in their heart and helps out a little bit. That would be so, so tremendous for our brothers and sisters. I just, I couldn't, couldn't even, (laughs) I think I would probably pass out right there from, (laughs) From them saying anything like that at all. But, uh, you know, it, it's just, I mean, it's great to see people that are that are so giving like that. And I just big shout out to Mr. Bob of their pet boys over in Gastonia. And he is actually one of the caretakers of the largest free-flying flag in the U.S. And, yes, that is right here in North Carolina. Um, he's got pictures of it and, and everything. Man, that, that freaking flag is huge. Huge, just over here off of uh, the Bessemer City Highway. So, uh, yeah, if y'all are, you know, something else to see, you know, if y'all are around the Gastonia, Charlotte area, whatnot, you know, Christmas time, you got McCadville, of course, Charlotte's just beautiful as it is. Uh, we talked to Miss Cindy last night from Irreverent Warriors. We just got to get a couple things from the city of Charlotte, you know, as far as permits and whatnot goes. And soon as that's done uh the hike will be taken care of so a message to all veterans that if you're coming to operation i got your six two there's gonna be a silky hike and it's gonna go from one end of charlotte straight through downtown to the underground um i will finish getting the information because i know there's a way to register up and i got it in my email somewhere but the most important thing was us to make sure that we go get, get get the permits and stuff like that because we are going to need an escort. There's no way in hell we're going to be able to hike 100 people <laughs> downtown freaking uh, Charlotte without an escort. And, uh, you know, they're they're excited. They're super pumped. And, you know, my twin sister, I tell you what, she uh, she she can rally some people up. That's That's for damn sure. So, you know, that's y'all be on the lookout for that. And uh there might be a special guest appearance from an actor and a director of a uh TV show. I can't say who the TV show, but they did say and I got it in a message and I keep my fingers crossed on this one that if they're not filming, they will be there, but regardless, they will be uh We'll be donating. So this is, you know, I want to thank everybody out there for the hard work that they're putting in this right now. I mean, it's it's really becoming something phenomenal. You know, last year's 